Hi, I'm Andy Gillian, and I'm going to talk a little bit about vibrato or vibrato. I think it's one of the easiest, quickest ways to improve your guitar playing is just to learn how to control your vibrato. So in my opinion, there really is nothing worse than a guitar player who does this. It's awful. It sounds terrible. It shows lack of control of your instrument. What you really want to do when you're playing vibrato is to keep it slow and wide. Depending on the tempo of the song, obviously, and there's different styles and types, but just really try and avoid that out of control business there and just slow it down. And if you're lucky, you'll hit a nice harmonic. I'm a strong believer that you can really tell a good guitar player from just listening to them play one note. So there's a few different types of vibrato. There's the classical way, where you just sort of wobble your fingers side to side like this. There's the circular way. You have to basically make little circles. And then there's the way I do, which is pretty much dragging down and up. I would start by dragging the note down. But I notice I only do this on these strings until I get to about here. And on this note, I will probably go up. And as well on this one. The reason is obviously to avoid doing this, pulling off the fretboard. But if you go up, you've got room. You're just hovering either side of the note. The great thing about elixir strings is they've got this really nice elasticated feel to them. So not only can you apply vibrato to single notes, you can apply it to bends too. So on the other hand, you have players who do this. And let's face it, it's just painful to listen to. Get that expression across when you're playing a bend, you know, really dig in. Not only are you gonna sound better, but you can add so much emotion and passion as you're playing with a single bend. Let's just look at a bend with no vibrato. It's pretty, pretty clinical and bland. But you can add so much character to a bend just by adding vibrato. I probably bend it, wait a second, and then engage. Floating above and below, just above and below the note, waving between the two. And that's pretty much it. So the main thing to take away from this is to keep your vibrato slow and wide and you know, more than anything, controlled. If you can control your vibrato, then you're gonna sound like a great player. Um, one amazing way to practice is just put the metronome on and just bend the string to the metronome. So you're vibratoing to the BPM of the song um, and that stops you losing control over what you're doing, but eventually you'll just feel, you'll, just, you'll develop your own style and you'll just feel when to bend, how much to bend, how fast to bend. Um, and you'll just add so much character to your playing.